students attending the Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School in Manhattan. This is a very expensive school. I think it costs just shy of 50 G's a year to attend. Uh, they are being forced to take an explicit class on porn without parental consent. Would be bad enough to force them to take the class on porn. They're not even telling the parents. Echoing sorts of things we've heard a lot this year, where radical educators will say, hey, be careful. The problem with Zoom class is the parents will know what's being taught. You got to be very careful. Don't you think the parents maybe should know what's being taught? No, it's very bad, very bad for their education. So at this school, they were teaching a very explicit porn class. And, and I'm not just saying like the birds and the bees and look at this and look at it, this flesh mashing up against this flesh. I'm talking about like very, I'm not going to say it on the show. This is a family program, <laughs> but, but, but like really graphic, gross stuff. The class involved a slideshow and a lecture by an instructor, which included lots of raunchy images, lots of presentations on the most lurid porn genres, and only fans, which is the dem democratization of porn. And if you oppose this sort of thing, you will be called closed-minded. Oh, come on. You're just a prude. You're, just, you're a prude. Come on. That's fine. What could go wrong with porn? Well, we're hearing what goes wrong with porn. How many people write into this show? I've read them in the mailbag. People write in all the time and say, we got to do something about porn. This is really bad stuff. Do you know who's writing? It's not the old fuddy-duddies writing in. It's not the boomers. The boomers seem to be the ones who are most fine with porn. They say, oh, it's not a big deal. They tend to fall a little more in that squish libertarian camp. Oh, come on. It's not, come on. Every, it, looking at porn, that's as American as apple pie. It's pr protected by the first amendment. It's not a big deal. But the people who write into me and say, this is a big deal are the young men who get ho hooked on this stuff. I think the, the median age is something like 11, according to surveys. So they get hooked on this stuff before they can know anything about it. It ruins their lives. They, it messes up their relationships. It hurts women. Obviously the industry hurts women, but the, just even the kind of vision of sex that it presents is very degrading toward women, messes up people's relationships, messes. There's a, a epidemic of young men who, who have ED because they're hooked on porn. They're, and it's not, you're used to just read about these stories in Japan. Apparently this has come to the West as well. It's really, really bad stuff. Why would that be taught in schools? Oh, come on, keep an open mind. P obviously, we used to know this in this country, but now we've forgotten it. Liberty and licentiousness are not the same thing. They're opposite things. If you arouse people's vices and base passions, you're going to undermine their true liberty. Kick it out. Fire teachers who push this. Not, don't just vote with your dollars. Vote with your politics. Use your government. Get this stuff. Take a lesson from DeSantis. DeSantis knows what's up. Pay attention to this stuff and kick it out. Porn has become, in a certain sense, it's become part of the liturgy of, of liberalism. But there's, and I won't get into too graphic detail of what these liturgical practices look like, but it, it really has sort of become part of it. It is something that one enacts. It is considered good. Do you remember at the start of COVID when people were told they couldn't see one another? The New York City Health Department encouraged people to... Um, how do I put this? To use Woody Allen's term, to have sex with someone you love, you know, alone in a room. And uh, this was being encouraged. This is a good thing. It's good for your health. Blow off a little steam. I've heard this described that in, in historically speaking, our views of the mind tend to map onto our views of technology. So when the printing press was big, we had this view that what was being imprinted on your mind, that's, that's going to form your mind. To some degree, that's true. When the steam engine was the big technology, we were told you, know, you had Freud, right? You had this idea that you have, to, you have to stop repressing things. You need to let off a little bit of steam, right? And to a lesser degree, that, I, that's not quite true. Now today, our, our view of the mind is that the mind is like a computer because the computer is the main technology. So you should be able to upload things and download things and all sorts of, upgrade your, your mind or something like that. Okay. I, un I understand all these various theories of the mind. Uh, when you blow off a little steam with something like porn. You know, if you get, when you and forget even just porn for a second with any kind of vice, if you think that if you perf commit a vice, that's going to blow off a little steam, that's not really how it works. The more vice you commit, the more you're going to commit, the more virtue you practice, the more you're going to practice. That's the way it works. We've known this since good old uncle Aristotle, but we seem to have forgotten it. The purpose of education, liberal education is to train yourself in that liberty. So do it. Any education that undermines that is the sort of thing you got to boot out of the classroom. All right. Now that I've got your attention, ring the bell, ring the bell, subscribe, like, make sure that you get the notifications while you're at it, by the way, 
head off of YouTube and go on over to our podcast apps, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, where, Google Play, wherever you listen to your podcasts, make sure you subscribe. We've heard there's some shenanigans going on with our subscriptions and our, our shows on those apps. So just, just to make sure that there's no glitches or anything like that, head on over, subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time. <laughs>